I'm back, pal, with another video. We're going to be going over the ones that you see in the title. We got DWAC in here. We got BBIG in here. And we're also going to go over Carnival Cruise Lines, ticker symbol CCL. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to give you guys all new levels, support levels, this is levels, buying levels for all of these, how I'm looking at it. DWAC is pulling down, actually. This is going to be the first one we talk about, DWAC. This is the Trump. For True Social, as you guys know, Trump announced that he was going to run, okay? Make sure you guys smash the like button. Let's get the video over 100 likes. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get the channel over 100,000 subscribers. That is the goal, okay? We're at 25.1. Also, if you want levels on CEI, Excella, Saba, other stocks, uh, we got Tilray in there. Make sure you watch the video right before this one, okay? Very, very key. Make sure you watch it. It has the same levels in there for CEI, Excella, Saba. I'm updating you on DWC in this one, but the other ones are still active. Make sure you go watch that one, okay? And any other stocks you guys want me to go over, make sure you comment that down below in the comment section so I can check it out, and then maybe I can put it in the next video for you guys. So DWAC, having a heavy pull down. So this was kind of like a buy the rumor, sell the news, right? So the rumor of him that he's going to say something, that's why we have to pop up, right? And then when he announced, it's sell the rumor. So now everybody's selling. So I do see DWAC going down some more. That's why I gave you guys a support level at $23. This is why I give you guys the levels. This should help you. This tells me whether I should be buying or not. So when price was stalled out, I gave you guys a support level this morning at $23. Did we see support hold here? No. It almost tested as a resistance and then it kept falling. So what is that telling us? That's telling us that DWC doesn't want to go up. So will we buy that? No. Will we be waiting for a pull down? Yes. And the number one thing we're looking for right now is support. After support, then we're looking for buying pressure. But for right now, we're looking for support. So what, you know what we're going to do? We're going to bring support down to the ground. Support is now at $20. This is a support level I'm looking out for tomorrow. I do believe Truth Social app is going to start getting more headlines as Trump starts talking more and stuff like that. So you're going to see Truth Social. You'll probably see DWAC and all the titles and stuff. So I feel like it will get some push. But until we get some more news or anything, it's probably going to die down because you have to know this move right here was driven off of news. So this was a news driven type of move. You have to know why something is shooting up. This was a news driven type of move. So with this heavy pull down, now we have support at about $20. I'm going to move resistance lower. Uh, I will put it at about $24. I'll, I'll bring it down about a dollar. So we're looking at resistance about $24 now. So we'll take all this off. These are your new levels for DWC that I'll be looking out for tomorrow. We'll see how they play out. We'll see how they move. If any of these levels changes or if it breaks or any news comes out, I'll update you guys on that. But that's the levels for DWAC. Next one is BBIG. Make sure you guys join the team. First link in that description. We had some uh, spy puts. Sold about half of it for 11% gain. Sold 25% of it for a 15% gain. Whenever I send you guys an option I do, I always put the month, the strike, the price I pay, where I'm looking to exit, what type of play it is. So you get all my buys and sells, right? Also, I teach you guys how to trade in the market. So how to find entries, exits, support levels, resistance levels. How do we find these buying levels? How do we know resistance is here? What do we look to exit? What do we look to enter? What's the difference between buying pressure and buying pressure confirmation? That's why you should join the team. It's the first link in the description. Join the team, get the knowledge, invest in yourself, okay? Because once you invest in yourself and once you join, you won't regret it, okay? And until November 26, you can use this code right here, 10 Black Friday. 10 Black Friday, it'll give you 10% off your first month, or it'll give you 10% off your first year if you pay for the yearly fee. And if you do pay for the yearly fee, you get two months free. So 10 Black Friday, 10% off first month, first year, code ends. November 26th, and then probably like a week after that, prices will go up again. So make sure you join. First thing in that description, BBIG, Venco Ventures. We had a buying level at 79 cents, and we had a resistance level at 90 cents. All that's going to change. Now, this is no longer a buying pressure level. This is a support. So we have 74 cents as a support level now. There is no buying pressure level on BBIG, Venco Ventures. I know I saw it in the uh, some of the comments. We have a resistance now at 80 cents. So notice how the resistance is coming down and support is going down, which is showing what heaviness on the downside. Watch these two levels now. These are your new levels for BBIG. That's pretty much it. Not looking to buy nowhere near here. I want to see where support holds. If support breaks, we're probably going to see BBIG fall below to the 60 cents marks, below 70 cents for sure. 
So watch out for that. That could be some danger for BBIG. And stay clear of that one just in case that support level does break. Next one we're going to talk about is Carnival Cruise Lines. Ticker symbol CCL. I gave you guys a buying level on Carnival Cruise Lines. Right around $9.50. What did we see today? Buying pressure. Okay. So tomorrow this might lead to a nice reversal to a higher side. But we need buying pressure confirmation tomorrow. I'm probably be looking to take it up to um, like $12 or so. I'm looking for a call option play on here. So now we have this buying pressure level. That's why I want to add it at the end. We'll go ahead and add a call option play in here. Um, I'm looking for buying pressure at this $9.50 range. So I'm still looking at this level. But this is what I'll be looking out for tomorrow if we go over here. I'll be looking for a push up and pull down. I'll be looking to enter here. For that secondary type of run. So I won't chase prices. I wait for it to come back down for more fair evaluation price. Then I'll be looking to get uh, call options there to take me up to about, I would say about $12 to $13. I think that's a nice call option play on the upside. Okay. This will be considered a hedge. If you want to know what a hedge is, join the team. I'll let you guys know. If you want the exact call option play, join the team. I'll let you guys know of that too. So thank you guys for watching the video. Smash the like button, subscribe. Always remember, no segregation of buyers. So anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.